and welcome to Survival Warehouse Library. I'm John Melandred, and this is for survivalwarehouse.com. What we're going to explain today is how to maintain your battery, uh, how to clean the terminals, and, and uh, check it for maintenance. The last thing you want in a disaster situation or preparedness situation is uh, for your car not to start. And the first thing is checking the battery. So that's what we'll go with first, and then I'll show you how to clean it. If you have a no maintenance battery, then you don't have to worry about this part. But anyone that has a acid battery wants to take and pop the cap off. Look inside and check your water levels. You want the, uh, the acid, basically, to be above the lead terminals. If not, then go ahead and fill it up with a little bit of distilled water. The second thing is to check your terminals for corrosion. And you should do this probably every six months or so. This one looks great. This one has just a little bit. So the object is to take baking soda, a couple tablespoons, a little bit of water, and an old toothbrush, and just kind of smear it on. The baking soda neutralizes the acid that comes in contact with corrosion and just let it sit there for about five minutes. Most vehicles have one battery, but in my diesel truck I have two. And you can see this negative cable is extremely corroded. So I'm going to pour it on this one. And as you can see, it's foaming and neutralizing the acid on this cable. I'll let this sit for approximately five minutes, and then I'll lightly brush it. If it is extremely corroded, then you'll want to pull this cable off, take a little bit of sandpaper, and just sandpaper around it. But uh, for right now, I'm just trying to clean it because I can't see my bolts. So we'll let this sit and uh, be right back. Once it's sat, you can take and just real lightly start scrubbing on it. Once you've scrubbed it, then you just flush it with a little water. And check your terminal and I'm like I said uh, I'm not going to worry about taking this off and lightly sandpapering it because I haven't had a problem but you do want to make sure that these are always clean and this is a very simple way of doing it if yet say uh, you're having trouble with your car starting you might be at work uh, you might have pulled into a store you could always take uh, coca-cola for instance and uh, pour it on your terminals and that could give you that little extra oomph to be able to start your vehicle. Some vehicles are a little bit more pickier than others. The Coca-Cola I'd use in an extreme emergency, uh, but when you're at home, it's very easy to do this outside and to actually clean it. And that way, you're not gonna have a problem in the future. Another thing is after you're done, you just take and, and dry your terminal, dry your battery,
and just take and pretty much get as much water off. Then I like to use LPS. <clears throat> this is a extra heavy duty rust inhibitor. It stops rust but also displaces water. And when you take and you spray it on your terminal, just lightly spray it on, that actually helps stop any corrosion. So this gives you a little bit of extra time so you don't have to clean them as much. Uh, and I highly recommend it. And you can also use Vaseline, uh, cooking oil, uh, canola, anything. Just something to get it on here so that it, it helps inhibit the, the uh, corrosion and any rust. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is always check if you have a very low water or acid, mind you, in your battery, you might want to look around for cracks. And in an extreme emergency, uh, if you have a crack, be sure to fill that up with distilled water if possible. And uh, I'll show you how to fix that crack here in just one second. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate, for instance, if you have a crack in your battery, As you can see, acid is leaking out. So if you find a crack like this, grab a chocolate bar, any piece of candy, and just take and rub it in. What happens is the sugar reacts with the acid and it actually stops the leak. That's going to help prevent this battery from burning out. So now that the leak is stopped, I can put some water back into my cell so that this battery doesn't burn. So that's just a little trick. You can actually use any piece of candy. It's, it, I'm just using Hershey's chocolate. And it's just the sugar reacting. Uh, if it's a, a super high acid battery, it's even going to gel somewhat. But it forms a liquid bandage. And so that's just a little uh, tip, uh, just in case you're out in the wild and uh, something occurs with your battery. Hope you had enjoyed this video on uh, maintaining and fixing a battery, and I'll see you on the next one.